Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for you guys, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. What is going on with my Pisces? Uh, also cross watchers, okay? So we're starting off with this Cain's Arcane Dog Tarot, which I love. So what is going on with Pisces? What do you guys need to know? Today is Halloween, October 31st. We're going to go to November 6th for a love reading. Three of Wands reverse. Okay, I'm already getting this feeling like disappointment, like you feel like whatever you've been hoping for, you've been wishing for, is not going to happen. We do have an Eight of Cups reverse. I feel like you've been wishing for a reconciliation. There's a lot of um, maybe guilt and shame here, like you almost feel like you ruined something or this situation was too dark, too, too many things happen. You want things to turn around, but you're almost like doubtful it will. But here we go, Ace of Pentacles, okay? So I do feel there's a possibility. I feel like you do have to let go of this low vibrational mentality. We've got Capricorn twice, okay? You could be dealing with a Capricorn. We've got Temperance Reverse. So it could be that actually your time might be up with the situation of waiting, okay? We do have Three of Cups Reverse. It could, it could require the end of a third party situation. Um, I feel like this is testing your strength. It's also testing your resolve. It's testing your ability to take more charge in your life about what you want and not be so much on the sidelines about what you want. Like not see yourself as such a victim. I do think you're going to have to make some bold moves if you want something to change. And you're going to have to let go of addictions. You're going to have to let go of low vibrational energies pulling at you. And you're definitely going to have to let go of your desire to be the victim like i said with the emperor reverse it's almost like i feel like you don't want to take responsibility you don't want to own whatever it is that you would have to do to change this this is aries energy okay you could be dealing with an aries a capricorn a sagittarius so many reversed cards okay i don't i'm gonna do another pull from another deck and i'm just gonna say no reversals because i just want to make sure these are accurate messages get some confirmation here so let's get some confirmation pisces what do we need to know no reversals i feel like the eight of cups just came out again there definitely could be a return of something Ooh, yes we've got the star aquarius energy there is hope it's all your mindset i feel like a lot of this is a test about your resolve and your mindset two of wands you deciding it's up to you to make this decision to change your life empress so we've got the emperor reverse and the empress so this is about maybe embracing more of it might be that you're more in a feminine energy but it, oh see this is three of wands up right now i do feel like you are kind of sitting on the sidelines waiting for something to happen and you could have a lot of fear like i said with the devil now with the nine of swords um, you could be dealing with a Libra Taurus. I do feel like there is a counterpart situation here, but I feel like the feminine is definitely more in control and it needs to be definitely equal. And if not, the masculine needs to step up and be more in control here. Um, I think a lot of this is happening though for you to gain like your feminine energy power, but at the same time, there needs to be some masculine energy to balance that out. Okay. So, Pisces, let's get into this more. We're going to get into the dating scene oracle from Carrie from Celestial Forecast. What other energies are here? Diva, I may, see the feminine is overtaking the situation. The feminine in the situation is holding the power if that's you. But um, we've got leader, we've got touchy. Okay, these were all from the last reading, so I want to keep shuffling. I definitely feel like if you're a feminine, you are committed to yourself. You're finding your power. You're not apologizing to anyone. Okay. There's a feminine that's really standing in her power here. And this is a feminine you can rely on, okay? Selfie queen. The feminine's really feeling herself right now, okay? There is some arrogant self-absorbed. There could be a feminine in this situation that's a little bit on the extreme here of self-obsession. 
And we've got dashing and debonair husband material. Look at that wifey material. That's what I was kind of saying. Committed, will never let go. We, we've got equal counterparts here. I definitely do. So if there's two people that have been involved in this situation, I feel like um, this is about them both stepping up so they can um, come together. Okay, this is from Shadows and Secrets from Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. What are some shadows and secrets here that you or your person is dealing with? The sweetheart, a player leaves a trial, leaves a trail of broken hearts, a string of lovers, okay? So someone's been like a little bit charming, but not interested in commitment. So there's a like a difference here. The accuser never admits fault, finger blames the other person. This is that, that victim energy, you know? Um, We've got the dragon, fiery, hot temperament, spews out hurtful words during confrontations and arguments, scare taxes, seldom gives true love, and the romantic will sweep you off your feet, makes empty promises. Um, It's interesting that we have the sweetheart and the romantic. There's definitely been a charmer here. There's definitely been someone that's like all, all smoke, no fire, but like, I do feel for the shadows and secrets, those are actually quite positive cards. I do feel there's been romance here and the dragon is like a really loyal a Chinese zodiac, but it's like someone's gotta harness their like player ways here. Free yourself, deception. Okay, yeah, so this is like there has been some imbalance here. Forgiving and learning. So if you guys have been burned by someone who was like very conniving, very um, swept you off your feet, but didn't follow through. I feel like as if you're the feminine, this has really strengthened you. This has made you stronger, wiser, more discerning, okay? So what does this person want to say to you? This person that maybe did this to you here. I feel like they st they're still having a hard time taking responsibility for this. What do they want to say to you, Pisces? This is from All Things Intuitive, Hidden Truth, Oracle, Volume 2. We don't share the same values. Look at that. Okay, one person here wants to commit. I wonder how you feel. Will you ever make things right? This is you guys still wondering. You inspire me. I do feel you are having a positive influence on this person's life, whether you feel like it or not, but they're not letting it on like you don't know. They're not showing you here. Okay, so um, let's get, I wanted to pull from another deck here that I can't seem to find. Um, okay, we're going to get from Rising Sun Oracle. So what does this person really want to say to you, Pisces? This is from the Soul Food Oracle deck. Okay, because I feel like you feel this person just kind of moved on with their life. They really hurt you. Um, they never felt the same way as you. Okay, Pisces, I was in the middle of your reading, my um, phone died. So we're going to get some messages from your person. This person seems like, you know, they disappointed you, they led you on, okay? Um, you just don't feel good about the situation. I need help, overwhelmed, okay? So they may be realizing that these player ways go beyond just like a habit. It could be like a deep-rooted part of their personality that's causing trouble for them, okay? I am taking care of my health, okay? So they could be getting some mental help here. Uh, I overdid it. I need to slow down. Party, okay? This person's having some revelation. Oh my God, you guys. I have reached my limit. Okay, so they hit a wall with however they were acting towards you. Like, I feel like they were living their life like this for a really long time and it's kind of like a tower moment so i'm just gonna get some last cards about their energy guys okay pisces this person you're dealing with what happened with them because they've reached their limit they overdid it they're working on their health five of cups reversed um i feel like they have a lot of regret they're like stuck in regret at this point um, they have a lot of sadness, a lot of disappointment, and they're overwhelmed with the amount of, like, damage they've caused here. It could even be a five of cups upright. We'll see with all these. Yeah, another. So I'm going to King of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. I feel like they've just been kind of, like, powering through their life, like, not really reflecting, not really thinking. 
you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, Page of Wands. I feel like they're always on the move, always on the go, but we've got King of Cups here. So we've got two kings. Hold on one second, guys. My dog was eating a wire. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Um, this... Two last cards. King of Pentacles. What is this? I feel like they want to be like a better man or like a better person. We've got King of Pentacles, King of Wands. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They've hit this point where they know they need to mature. They've been a child. They've been reckless. And I feel like they're really working on becoming a better person. So um, with that being said, I actually want to end with my Twin Flame current vibes here and see one last thing they want to express to you, okay? Pisces, what do they want to say to you? It's hard to shuffle because now I have the wire here plucking my... Okay, what is one last thing they want to say? Second chances. I believe we deserve us. Oh my God, I'm working on myself. I'm trying my best. There you go, guys. I knew I needed to use that deck. I mean, we have, I overdid it. I'm trying to be a better person. I believe we deserve a second chance. There you go. All right, Pisces, hopefully this reading resonated with you guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, please comment. I always respond back to new commenters, to new subscribers, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.